All right, so it's time for the usual weekly stream. We see Asha in the back, Poggies. <laughs> Oh. And Nakashima Yuki is here. So she is, of course, we were just talking about this. She's the first ever female voice actress to do both a Yu-Gi-Oh! and a Vanguard character. Mori, Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we're getting three new cards, including Verena Expector today. Well, we technically already know what Verena Expector does, but actually we don't. Get hyped. <laughs> oh, they're the same age. She's saying like, yeah, I turned 24 this year too. Oh, that's cute. So she said her friend really loved Vanguard. And every time she would like, go to her place, she would put on the Vanguard anime and like, rewind it, rewatch it. And so she started playing the game because of that. Oh. Um, she really liked Kai. <laughs> お泊りとか一緒にしてたんですけど、お泊りとかしてると夜中にこうやってイメージしろみたいな感じのことを言い始めて延々とあの私が寝るまでこうライドの時の工場って言えばいいんですかね。はいはいはい。カイ君のおま
So every single clan will receive four copies of these heal triggers four times and we will also receive heat elemental magma magm and miracle elemental atmos as well for free and so all the heal triggers will have the exact same ability so they all have the same ability as Uluru and every single clan will receive it next month. Oh, all of these cards will receive four times, including the strides. Yeah, true, the new and extra trial deck didn't come out until set two in G, so they could just be pushing it to a bit later. I'm surprised there's no Victor, though. I'm surprised by no Victor in the first set. They're slow rolling the sets. They might just be slow rolling, yeah. Uh, when your rear guard is placed, if it's in the overdress states, you may draw one. If you did, discard one. Ooh, new order. Paramus one to play it. Choose your Vanguard to give it the skill. When your rear guard is placed, if it's an overdress, draw one. And for that turn, that unit gains plus 5k. Wait, that seems really good. Wait, that seems really good. Wait, that seems really, really good. Oh, yeah, you're saying like it doesn't have to be a Nirvana base, so you can use this in Yuji or Overlord. So, this is one, Kalmas 1. Give your Vanguard the ability for that turn. When your rear guard is placed, if it's in overdress state, draw 1, and for that turn, that unit gains 5k power. It's not once per turn. That's really good. That is really, really good. That's really, really good. And finally, we have Berlina Expector. So here we go. Act surprised. We totally didn't see this this morning. So Berlina Expector. It overdresses onto a unit in the overdress state. So it has to be in the overdress state already. And then Rear Guard Circle Continuous. This unit gains all of the power of its original dresses, both during your turn and your opponent's turn. And finally, when he attacks the opponent's vanguard, which is grade 3 or greater, if this unit is in the overdress state, can last 1. For that battle, this unit gains plus 15k, plus 1 crit. And at the end of that battle, put all of its original dresses in to the drop zone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it says it's quite similar to Verena Valiente. It's a grade 3 with 13k power. It's really good. Like, we already talked about this earlier. It was revealed through Koro Koro Comics. It's really good. So yeah, like, you can just put this over in arcs, you know, and you already have plus 15k power during your... Like, your 28k beater on your opponent's turn. And then you can make it into 43 for a Kalbas 1 with a crit. Like, the crit pressure in particular is really, really good. So, it's really good. But dude, the grade one and the... The grade one is okay, I think. The grade one is kind of whatever. This grade one is fine. I don't think I'll play it, but the order is really good. I like the order a lot. Just because it's like every time, because you can literally wait for turn three. And, you know, you basically go like arcs, like regular arena. Expector. What does the grade one do? Oh, let me tell you the grade one again. The grade one says when your rear guard is placed, if it's overdressing, you can draw one. If you do, discard one. So it's just a cycle. Mm -hmm. And the order is Kalmas want to play it, choose your Vanguard, give the following ability for the whole turn. When your rear guard is placed, if it's overdressing, draw one, and for that turn the unit gains 5k power. And it's not once per turn. Or for support, we saw it this morning actually, it was really good. Yeah, the grade one is whatever, but the order is pretty nice. You can probably use it up to three times per turn, technically, or four even. Oh! She's like, this is really rare, right? <laughs> like, people in the comments are saying her way of holding them is pretty. <laughs> it is actually kind of, right? <laughs> I, wait, wait. 
。中指がここです。何<笑>ですかこのレクチャーは。そうなんですか。本当に。視聴者さんの愛で生かされてる番組なんで。えー、なんかありがとうございます。あの持つ際は私を呼んでいただければ。<笑>じゃあ今度。で今後こうやっていつでも持ちますので。<笑> like if you ever need me to 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 come on stream and hold up cards for you, just feel free to invite me again. Oh, so she's thinking like she's surprised like you know as a In middle school, she played with Kagura and Arakami all the time. So it's quite a coincidence that. You know, she's like, yeah, I used to really like Dragon back then. So it's quite a good coincidence that my character's unit is also from Dragon Empire. Oh, so she said, like, she used to go to cram school in middle school. And when she'd have time before going to. before her cram school would start,、uh, she would go to, like, a toy store and basically, like, buy packs, like, banger packs with her friends and, like, just, like, open them before going to the cram school classes. That's cute. <laughs> She's like, wow, you're, <laughs> your friends did a seriously good job <laughs> getting you into the game. It's like, I should tell them it's like this all thanks to you. <laughs> so he's like, I should really talk to them about this. Oh, we got a key visual for it too. Berlina Esperer Idea. Looks really sick. Looks really sick. It does look like a stride, doesn't it? Compared to the little, the little baby boy that he, the base Verena is, this looks like a stride. Whoa, that was fast. She just pulled it up. So, this is the sword and shield from the start deck. And then you can just replace them. Oh, she's almost got it. <laughs> All right, this is what it looks like. She pulled out the gap. <laughs> she got the blicky now. Well, you can interchange the weapons however way you want. It can be a spear and a shield, or a gun and a sword. Can I have two guns? So you can change them any way you want. But sadly, you can't have five. <laughs> you can't have four of the weapons. <laughs> He's like, wouldn't this be cool though? He's like, isn't that a cool concept? <laughs> Gun, shield, lance, sword. All right, so in the producer letter volume three, he said lyrical ministerial will be supported once a year. Okay, so he said, like, listening to all of your guys' feedback, we're releasing. Okay, so listening to everyone's feedback, they've decided that Lyrical Monastery will be supported every half a year, it seems. Like,、um, essentially, Manotakumi asked him, so, like, so will it be like, support every half a year now? He's like, yes. Okay. Damn, the letter got eroded. <laughs> the, the producer letter got eroded. So it looks like two waves of Zirko Monasterio every year. Which is good. I mean, they basically get half the support of the other nations still. Monster Strike, second booster set will be coming as well. Oh, can't get over the salamate. <laughs> can't get over the salamate. So, yeah, it says there actually at the bottom. Reverse units will show up in volume 5 and 6 as well. So, let's introduce some cards coming in volume 3. Oh! oh! Leading Jewel Knight Salome and Silver Thorn Dragon Queen look here reverse. Oh my god, Salome looks so good! There must be, there's quite a lot of players that had Lukia Reverse back then. So, yeah. Jewel Knight and Silverthorn users, please look forward to the support. Next, oh! Oh! Himiko Reverse! Himiko Reverse! Oh, let me 
hide myself for a second. Himiko reverse. Hey, it was good, Zach. He's like, oh, Himiko Reverse didn't exist in the Link Joker arc, did she? Wow. Wow, that's cool. Of course, Maelstrom Reverse. I mean, I'm not too surprised about that one. So yeah, we'll be printing Reverse units throughout 3, 4, 5, and 6 of the clan collections. Wow. And of course, Revenger Raging Form Dragon Reverse. There we go. And of course, Grand Azel Scissors. It has been confirmed. It is indeed Revenger Raging Form Dragon Reverse. Wow, that looks sick. Oh, no, it's Raging Fall Dragon. It's Raging Fall Dragon Reverse. So it's not Raging Form, it's Raging Fall Dragon Reverse. So yeah, of course, it's like an if, what if version of like, what if Raging Form was reversed. And of course, he's like, oh, don't forget on the right, we have Grand Diesel Scissors. Oh, Amon! Amon and Cecilia Reverse? Yo! Bruh. Wait, isn't this also Hagia Kaoru? Isn't Cecilia also drawn by Hagia Kaoru? Oh my god. Oh, Nakashima Yugi saying, like, I know Amon. I remember him. <laughs> so yeah, Amon is, they're saying, a unit that a lot of people have been wanting to see for a long time. It's drawn by Nagasaki. Among Us, that's right. Dude, Cecilia Reverse looks insane. Oh, Reverse Frame. What? Look at that. So the reverse units that you get in SP will come in a reverse frame. Wow. So like, you can see even the clan name, like the clan logo, is in like the Link Joker colors, even though it's still like Pale Moon and Shadow Paladin. That's so sick. なんか気がそうですね。感じがありますけど、まあ、まあ、ちょっとご困っちゃった。まあ、いろんな想像を膨らませていただければなと思うんですけど。はい。で、プロダクトインフォーメーションは2022年1月21日金曜日発売です。え
And also, there's going to be a lot of Vanguard Zero news next week. What a what a day. <laughs> what a day. Jesus Christ, there's so much information. It's actually insane. God damn. There was so much information in this one. It's like, it's going to take a minute to process everything. But yeah, very eventful. Very eventful Tuesday. Let's put it that way. Very, very eventful Tuesday.